Up next, favorite things. Opening up to happiness and joy. So Dina, what's your favorite thing? Can you show us yours? Um, okay. Whoops. Bikini, can you see this? Yes. Okay. So this is my daughter's current project. She is doing keychains and she is on Instagram with keychains for COVID and her profits are going to Feed America's response fund. And she made the keychain for me. It's different than all the other patterns she's been doing for her friends because she didn't think that I would appreciate those types of patterns, which were, I don't know, butterflies and um, other, other things. So mine has stars on it. And um, I love it because I'm so proud of her for being thoughtful right now and wanting to do something to give back and, and stay positive. So that is with me, although I'm not driving much, um, <laughs> but it's on my keychain and, and it reminds me of, of her and her, her passion. Thank you. Rachel? Uh, my favorite thing today is um, we have a mug theme going, so I'm going to bring one of my favorite mugs. It's a You Are Beautiful mug. And um, I'm sitting in my office now, and if you came in, you would see You Are Beautiful pictures and stickers all over. Um, you Are Beautiful was started by an artist in Chicago, and there are huge installations um, on schools, on fences. They all say You Are Beautiful. Um, he's also done installations now around the world. And I always carry You Are Beautiful stickers with me. And whenever I have a nice engagement with someone, I hand them a sticker. So um, it could be anyone. It's, I love to give them to police officers, but I, when I'm flying, I'll give it to the airline agent. I'll give them to anyone. And I think it's such a nice message and I keep one always on my phone. I even have it in Hebrew. And um, I, I just think it's a, a nice way to engage people and make everyone feel good because along with positivity that we've been talking about, we are all beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alyssa? This is not a constant um, favorite thing, but this today is my favorite thing because of what it represents. So this is a graduation oh, cap. Yeah. It's actually from when my son graduated from high school and we hung on to it because today, tonight, actually, he graduates from college. You know, it's so interesting that we just had on today of all days this um, amazing conversation about positivity because honestly, my son is the most positive person that I know. He is a, uh, the ultimate optimist. Um, he has found the silver lining in all of this every day, even though he's graduating virtually, you know, and we will watch him graduate on a computer screen where we thought we'd be um, in Philadelphia today watching him graduate. So he is one of my favorite things, but I, I have this cap to, <laughs> remind me of just what a special day this is um, for him, um, in our family, um, and really for the class of 2020, who is really um, graduating in a very strange and kind of crappy, but also very memorable way. So today, that is my favorite thing. This is one of my favorite things. These are my children's hands when they were little, and it's a cookie jar, and it's who stole the cookies from the cookie jar, and inside it says, who, me? And when they were younger, I filled it with cookies and it was a very prominent piece in our kitchen. But now it's in my office and I look at it always because it reminds me of a time where I was so, so happy with my kids. Not that I am, I'm not happy now, of course I am, but they're teenagers and they are in their own lives and doing their own things. But back then they would do handprints on things and make messes and have fun. And it was just a really fun, nice time. And it makes me feel joy whenever I look at that. Susan? I don't have um, a specific um, object that I, you know, feel is over special to me. Um, but what I do have and what I do feel incredibly grateful for is my, my, my yard because um, I spend a lot of my time traveling, which I love. And I spend a lot of my time seeing people, which I love. But I also love to come back because I find being in nature, whether it's summer, whether it's winter, 
I feel it very mentally therapeutic. And I like the simplicity of sitting, having my porridge, watching the squirrels run in the trees. I'm going to show you what I mean. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's beautiful. But, but, but the, the, the trees there, I sit there and I, I look at the trees and I, I ask myself, oh, what, what story would they tell if, if they could, you know? So, and you get lots of cows and sheep back there as well. So, so that, that gives me my feel-good factor. And that's something that I, I find very special. That's beautiful. I thought you were going to say your dog. Well, he is here under the table, but I can't show you him because he, he's flat out. But, but I do love him to pieces, yes. He's, he's part of. He's that's part of that's fabulous. Uh, goddesses, let's all thank Susan together. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's a pleasure. Unleashed your inner goddess yet? Thanks for joining us today on Grateful Goddesses. We invite you to visit our website, www.gratefulgoddesses.com, to access today's show notes as well as other helpful resources. Don't forget to leave a review. Until next time, stay strong and empowered to be a grateful goddess.